Right, okay, hello, let's go. So here we are at the API gateway, and if you uh, need to figure out how to get here, just type API up here in the services, and we will be at this console, and we will get started. Uh, and we'll just hit uh, X here. I don't care what they're saying here. And we're going to hit new API, make sure it's rest. And we're going to name it as we have been naming everything here. So I'm going to call this Ferengi uh, Alliance. Okay. And uh, the endpoint is a regional. That's totally fine here. And we will go ahead and create that API. Uh, so now our API has uh, been created and we'll, we have this uh, uh, default route here. Okay. And so we can add... Uh, multiple resources or methods, um, we can totally just work with this route here, but I'm going to add a resource here and I'm going to call it um, uh, transmit, okay? Okay, and I'm just going to name it the same up here. Uh, and uh, we're also going to want to enable API uh, gateway cores. Uh, we do not want to be dealing with cores issues, so we will just checkbox that there. And we'll go ahead and create that resource, okay? And so now we have a resource um, and by default, we'll have options. Uh, we don't care about options. We want to have a, a new method in here and we are going to make it a post, okay? And we are going to uh, do that there. And it's actually going to be a Lambda function. That's what we want it to have, all right? Um, and do we want to use to Lambda integration proxy? Request will be proxy to Lambda with request details available in your event. Yes, we do. That sounds good to me. Um, and then, uh, we can specify the Lambda region. It is US East 1 and then the Lambda function. So here we need to supply the uh, the Lambda uh, function there. So we're going to make our way back to um, that Lambda function there. So we have this SNS topic. I'm just going to go over here and go back to Lambda. And we're going to grab the name of that Lambda function and go back to uh, API Gateway and supply it there. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and save that. Um, yes, we are cool with that. Okay. And we'll hit save there. And so now our Lambda function is uh, kind of hooked up here. We might have to fiddle with this a little bit more, but if we go back to our, our Lambda console here and hit refresh, um, now on the left-hand side, we should see API gateway. So API gateway is now a trigger. Okay. Um, so yeah, we will uh, go back to API gateway here. All right, so now to just uh, test out this function to see if it's working, I'm gonna go to uh, test here and we have uh, some things we can fill in like query strings, headers, and the request body. So uh, flipping back to here, you're gonna probably wonder why I had this up here. Well, it was to test for this box here. And so uh, I'm just gonna just uh, slightly change it here. So we'll just change it to Riker. Okay, and um, uh, we're gonna say bye, okay. All right, and so, uh, you know, now that I have uh, this uh, uh, slight uh, uh, variation here, I'm just gonna paste that in there and hit test, okay? And um, it looks uh, like it has uh, worked. So we can uh, just double check that by going to a DynamoDB here and doing a refresh here. And so the second record is there. Obviously in CloudWatch, if we uh, were to go back here and refresh, okay? We are going to uh, have updated logs uh, within here. All right, so. Not sure if the logs are showing up here. There is Riker, so he is in there. So our API gateway uh, endpoint is now uh, working as expected, okay? So now what we need to do is we need to uh, publish this API gateway endpoint, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, okay, hello, let's go. So in order to publish our, our API, uh, what we're gonna need to do is deploy it, okay? So anytime you make changes, you always have to deploy your API. So I'm gonna go ahead here and hit deploy API and we're gonna to need to uh, choose a stage. We haven't created any stages yet, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna type prod, which is short for production. Okay, very common for people to do that. You could also make it pro if you like, um, but prod is generally what is used. And I'm gonna go ahead and deploy that, okay? And so um, now it is deployed and now I have this nice URL. And so this URL is what we're going to use to invoke the Lambda. So. All we have to do is uh, copy this here and then uh, send a put request to, or sorry, post request uh, to transit here. So what we're gonna do is copy this uh, URL here, okay? And we're gonna go back to our Cloud9 environment and we are going to go to our uh, web in here, okay? And in this, we have our HTML code and we have a function called form submit. And so if we were to go into the JavaScript here, okay? 
um, there is a place to supply that in here. Um, and it's probably going to be, oh, where did I put it? Um, it is uh, right here. So on the form submit, it takes a second parameter, which is URL. All right. And so actually, it's just uh, right over here. I made it really easy for myself here. And I'm just going to uh, supply it there. Okay, and we're going to need uh, strings around that. Otherwise, it's going to give us trouble. It's going to have to be double quotations. Okay, and so now this uh, form submit is going to uh, submit it uh, to that endpoint. Uh, it has to be a transmit, of course. Okay, so uh, yeah, there we go. I'm just going to double check that transmit. That looks good to me. And I'm just going to double check that it's using a post. It is. So yeah, that's all we uh, need to do here. So. Now that we've changed um, our index HTML, we're going to need to update update that in CloudFront and invalidate that. So uh, let's make our way over uh, to S3 and upload this new file, okay? All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is download uh, this file here. So we're just gonna go ahead and download that new index HTML. And uh, we're gonna need to use one of our other tabs here. Uh, we'll take up the CloudWatch one here. We don't need to keep all these things open. And uh, we're gonna make our way to S3, okay? And once we make it into S3, we're going to go into the www.ferengialliance.com and we're going to upload that new file. Um, I believe it's in my downloads. So I'm just going to go down here and show in Finder. And uh, here it is. So I'm just going to drag it on over. Okay, upload that file. Okay, and so now that file has been changed, but that doesn't mean that CloudFront has been updated. So we have to go to our, our friendly uh, service called CloudFront. Okay. And we're going to need to invalidate that individual file there. So we're going to go to www and we're going to go to validations, create. Now we could put an asterisk, but we know exactly what we're changing. So we're going to do index.html and we're going to invalidate it. And we're going to just wait for that invalidation uh, to finish. Okay. And then we will go test out our form. So after waiting a few minutes here, our invalidation is complete. And so let's go see if our new form is uh, hooked up. So uh, we're going to need to go to the domain name. Uh, and I always have a hard time typing it. So I'm just going to copy paste it directly here. OK, just going to go route 53 and grab it for myself. Um, and there it is. Come on. There we are. OK, and so I'm just going to then paste it in there. OK, so here is our form. And I just want to be 100 percent sure. Because uh, using when you're working with uh, Chrome and stuff, things can aggressively cache there. So see, it's still using the old one, but we've definitely, definitely updated it. So I'm just going to give it a hard refresh here. Okay, and so now it is there. So just make sure you check that before uh, you go ahead and do this so that you save yourself some frustration. All right.